Ricks with couldn't quite get to that one. Oscar was too fast for him. Socrates now for Brazil and straight at the New England captain. Here's Socrates, four goals in the last four internationals for Brazil. A qualified doctor, incidentally. The player looking a little menacing uh, so far as their skill factor in this game is concerned, the Brazilians. There's Zico with a lovely ball to Isidoro, or rather to uh, Zico. A goal! for a long time for the Brazilians and Ivaldo's ball in suddenly it flew nicely for Zico beyond Ray Clements into the corner of the net and Brazil a goal up with 11 minutes gone and Ivaldo playing the ball in there and in truth it fell favorably for Zico but his ability to get a quick shot in there on target was absolutely supreme being like the makeshift side that they are Certainly looking at the moment second best to the Brazilians as Zico moves the ball on again for Ronaldo to chase and he might be Alvin Martin. Ronaldo going all the way. No, I think the whistle had gone. The whistle had gone and Ronaldo will be denied. It was foul by Alvin Martin. And Ronaldo, whose finishing was superb in the way he shrugged off the unfair challenge of uh, Alvin Martin. And we're going to get a free kick now. There was the pushing and shoving. And Ronaldo went on and finished it. But by now the whistle had gone. Now let's see what the Brazilians can do with this free kick. Hader's there. Zico's there. Socrates is in the wall. It might be left foot by Hader. It is, and it's a save. Oh, Ray Clements, more than equal to that one. Ricks, the crowd trying to get behind Ron Greenwood's men. That's a nice little flick in there by Ricks to Wirth, to Sanson. And the shot there by McDermott. And that's the first real bit of trouble there for the Brazilians. And the first little bit of forward play by England that looked as though it might open them up. There's a lovely ball in the first place from Ricks, chested down by Wirth, Sanson's cross coming in, McDermott catching it well on the volley, and as you can see, the keeper was well behind it, even though he couldn't hold it. Now Barnes. Robson, that's a good ball there. Finding Koppel on the far side. And a good cross by him for Peter Wirth! Oh, and Valdir was lucky there. That's the sort of service Peter Wirth wants. And that was the service provided by Steve Coppel, who did superbly to get to that byline. Barnes, who played it. To Coppel. And with powering in there, and look how lucky the keeper was. Neil now to Wilkins. Made it again for McDermott. Hit well and saved well. He had to readjust completely to uh, McDermott because suddenly he found it on his left foot when really he wanted it on his right. But he still got his shot in. Wilkins playing that penetrating ball. And McDermott hitting it first time. Valdir saving. Wilkins. Played wide for Barnes. Sticking to this right flank now, as he did for much of the first half, and then a drive goal that Albion just pushed away. When he's in that mood, he is a really dangerous international player, Peter Barnes. And that fell nicely onto his left foot. And Valdir really had to get that. Robson again. That's a good ball there by Brian Robson. It gets him wide again with Coppola, and he's got good support from Wilkins. The cross coming for Peter Will on the far side. There's his header. Can McDermott turn it? No, he can for Ricks, and it's over the top, but it was a good, well thought out move there by England. And again, coming from uh, playing it wide for Steve Coppel here. 
and with able to get up on the far side not it down McDermott couldn't get a shot on himself but saw that Ricks was available on the volley but always on the up Oscar that's a lovely ball there for El Divaldo and the cross coming in Alvin Martin has got to take command of it and with Bill Neal to help him and he's given it away to Adair and now to Reynaldo to Adair again into the side netting and a goal that would have been of England's making had it gone in but Bill Neal getting into a little bit of a panic there deep inside his own penalty area right there and hitting the ball straight at Adair and there could have been a bit of trouble getting European experience before the World Cup in Spain next year. Oh, Ada. Neil had committed himself. Ada! Oh, my word, what a shot that was. I don't think I've ever seen a ball swing quite as much as that. And once Phil Neil had committed himself, there, Ada just whacked it first time. And just look at it bend. Clemens was lost and it clipped off the bar. Stopped there by Luzinho. And here's Junior. A little back heel there. Sorizo. Junior keeping the running going. Lovely teamwork there by Brazil. Played back for Adair. Crosses a good one. Reynaldo was there with the header and Clemens went down to save. Good cross by Adair, that's a lovely left foot he's got. And the little man got a ball he wasn't really entitled to. Wilkins now playing it wide for Sanson. Or rather for Koppel. And a cross coming in towards Peter with. And the corner there to England. What a lovely bit of play by Stevie Koppel. turning getting up off that challenge whacking in a superb cross there with chesting it down and not quite enough time hammering off the defender and they've shown that their skill factor will always give them a great chance and their ability really to take pressure when England have put it on them but here's some more pressure coming late in the game now from Steve Popple that's a good deep cross there once more towards Peter with and he got a header in there too Oscar getting it away here's Wilkins will he look for a shot himself no, he plays it wide, and there's space here for Koppel. Driven in there, and Valdir pushing it away. Some good stuff's come from England down these flanks tonight, and this time, instead of trying the cross, Steve Koppel tried the shot, and that was curling a bit, and Valdir pushing it away. getting some encouragement from the crowd England in these last seconds as though they realize that England have put a lot into this performance Barnes crossing it in there oh and that almost came to Martin it might come to Koppel no it doesn't McDermott can't get a shot in either Neil now crossing it in once more Peter with is there poised once more and Sanson right in there and with oh and he's hit the post in the last moments of the game Oh, how unlucky can you get? So out of nothing, England suddenly looked as though they got themselves an equaliser. Sanson, a fantastic jump with a good shot when he was slightly off balance, but against the post, across the goal line, and Brazil was saved. And the final whistle. Well, that was tough luck for England, who really battled superbly for so long after that embarrassing opening quarter of an hour when Brazil scored through Zico. The crowd encouraged them right to the end, sensing that this was a better England performance, and it was almost rewarded right at the end when Peter Wood hit the Brazilian post. Well, excitement in that final flurry and coming up next tonight action highlights from the scottish cup final between rangers and dundee united all the latest cup final news and of course the verdict on tonight's england performance that's right after this break with a final score england nil brazil one <laughs>